environmental justice. For too long in this country, too many communities have been like denied the basic security and dignity that comes from having clean air and clean water, functioning infrastructure. Too many parents still have to like lay awake at night wor worrying what the uh, rain or soil or water or air is going to do to their kids. Uh, the that kind of uh, inequity it goes against everything that we stand for as a nation too. Um, to finally change the, that President Biden's uh, climate agenda uh, includes the most ambitious environmental justice actions in history, making sure that like uh, people who suffer the most from legacy pollution can like uh, share in the benefits. Everyone likes the Trump though because like yeah we get the guns and like and no more Mexicans and like what does he promise I don't know. Uh, American first. Are uh, we going to like uh, beat the Chinese and the terrorists? Um, uh, we're going to like pull out Ukraine. They're going to stop the woke agenda of like um, changing what it means to be a man or a woman. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot that like uh, Trump promises as well too. That like the the basement kind of eats up. Uh, continue on. Um, during the first week in office, uh, the president established the Justice Forty Initiative with the goal to direct of uh, directing forty percent of the benefits of our historical climate and clean energy and investments into fence line communities. Fence line communities have hit the hardest by like pollution. Last year, he gave uh, the program new teeth with an executive order requiring every federal agency to designate uh, its own environmental justice officer to court consider and improve the health impact of its work on all communities. Um, every major uh, plank of our investing in America agenda shares that the commitment to environmental justice. The bipartisan infrastructure law invested a record of $21 billion in like, tackling legacy, uh, legacy pollution and the biggest efforts to uh, right such wrongs in America. We are also investing in capping in orphan oil and gas wells, which leak the deadly methane into like, surrounding communities as well as after big oil is gone. But to help ensure new clim uh, climate and clean energy projects and uh, can get financed across America, particularly in communities historically left behind uh, by and overburdened by pollution, President Biden and Vice President Harris launched the first of its kind $27 billion national financing uh, network as part of the green gas, Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund. This program will ensure communities across the country have access to the capital they need to participate in benefits from a uh, cleaner and more sustainable like a uh, economy as we slash harmful like uh, climate pollution, improving air quality, lower energy costs, as, and create the good paying like jobs. Like there's some uh, hey, hey, good enough for me. Just don't think about it. Yeah, exactly. I mean that being like a lifetime debt if uh, medical bills is like pretty strong point for Trump. I kinda like that though. Essentially, uh, I just wish, wish that like the medical debt cost was not a thing, and like I hate the phrase in the word of like access to capital as well too because like well I'm just not a capitalist I'm a narco syndicalist as well too, oh and I kind of like doubt about that uh, kind of access to like capital as it is. Oh god, oh I think like my eyes are getting cross-eyed from like reading so much as well too. Uh, I used to, yeah, I don't, I, you know what, I, I kind of just realized I don't normally kind of like do these long readings, even in the past when I did read streams regularly, I never did like long reading streams of like for like four hours or five hours or something like that, and we're at the five hour mark, I did it five and a half hours yesterday too, um, but I wanted to like at least come, uh, complete this like chapter, uh, one chapter, chapter four of this like document, and, and then so that uh, I can, can finally just like it, it reach a good stopping point and then I can just like stop and then just like do something else as well too because like oh god reading this is like yeah it's kind of it's getting to me which is why I haven't been like stopping as much as, as we're too uh, to comment on things okay so uh, we are okay so after like, these a uh, couple of paragraphs we're at a good stopping point because in seven minutes ads going to start running on my twitch channel and i like to take a self-care break i need a self-care break but i also like to take a self-care break whenever i can so continue on our climate law makes uh, major investments in like long overdue clean water and sanitation as well it launches a cream 
port programs to help ease the, hit the impact of air pollution around ports and airports, where thousands of trucks move goods in and out, and often through neighborhoods experiencing distrust as a result of historical divestments. It invests in like a clean public transit, uh, connecting communities that have been like isolated or disconnected by infrastructure and like development to like jobs, healthcare, or education and opportunities. And under this like climate law, millions of trees will be planted, deploying a a nature-based solution to combat the urban heat uh, island effect by cooling our streets and like easing the deadly impact of extreme heat on people's living and working in these areas. It's really not that bad that billionaires exist and great slaves. Can't wait until there's like one company left with infinite money and has infinite power. No, billionaires should not exist. I don't know if you're like, um, if you're like, um, being facetious or being sarcastic or joking, not sure, hey, Billy. But plus, I'm again, I'm vehemently anti capitalist. We should not, there should not be anyone any that has a billion dollars. I mean, it, it's a start, I guess, but you need to do more than just like plant the trees, government. Yeah, I agree. And also, think about this there's plenty of cities that do plant trees and like plenty of national parks as well, too. Uh, but look, think about all, at least in the USA, but think about all those like uh, trees and uh, uh, planted in cities and all those like uh, trees and bushes and foliage that are planted in the parks and stuff like that. Think of Central Park in New York. None of those trees or plants or bushes produce fruit. None of those things produce edible fruit. You can easily plant like uh, uh, trees that produce fruit uh, that's indigenous uh, to your area. But the reason why cities and like uh, uh, governments do not do that is because they do not want the poor and unhoused to have access to free food. No such thing as free lunch because the capitalists do not want there to be free lunch. So they don't want the governments to want in food security at any point, which is why they will do like a compromise with like snap program you just get an ept card so you can like buy food at the grocery store the grocery store will still get the business though and they don't have to like compete with like the fruit trees out on the street they just want the unhoused to suffer as well too for being unhoused for their choices of being unhoused oh uh, we'll let's see I forgot where I was. I'm going to go from here. And under this like campaign laws, millions of trees will be planted. Uh, yeah, deploying. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. We will continue to like implement the uh, president's executive order on environmental justice for all, and will seek a legislation options to further advancement of environmental justice. Democrats also know we have a moral ob ob obligation to make sure that like fence line communities benefit from clean energy re revolution. Um, programs like Solar for All are helping to lower energy costs, and by installing nearly a million solar households in like, low-income areas by 2029. At the same time, we are providing bonus tax credits to draw clean energy and clean manufacturing to former fossil fuel ill and legacy power plant communities. They empower our nations for generations and deserve a just transition away from fossil fuels. Today, they're seeing a rapid growth.